Hello everyone. Welcome to the fresh episode of Model Insights with me your host Sujatha. Today we have with us Olivia McElden. Olivia McElden is a 20 year old Canadian published model, singer and influencer. She enjoys playing tennis in her spare time as well. Currently she is in the university taking her bachelor in business degree in business and media studies at Trent University. So let us all welcome her to the show. Hi Olivia, welcome to Model Insights. I hope you are doing well. I am, thank you. It's really nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Okay. So, uh, moving forward, Olivia, we all have known you so far and I just gave a small introduction about you, but I would like you to introduce yourself to our audience so that they know about you better. For sure. So, um as you said, my name's Olivia McKeldon. I am a 20-year-old published model, singer and influencer currently residing in Canada. and currently i am in a university taking my bachelor of business degree and i am just working three jobs currently and yeah that's just a little bit about me okay great and uh, moving forward let's talk about your modeling career so far so how and where did that begin and like what gave you the thought that you actually want to be a model Yeah, so I probably started modeling about like 2 years ago now I would say, and I kind of always wanted to model. It was always something that like I wanted to do, but I was just like I didn't think I could do it. I felt like you had to like live in like a certain like big location or something in order right. to be a model. But then I was like, you can like go to the actual location for that. You know, you don't actually have to live there. So You know, I scouted some different agencies and I looked up some different locations. I hit up Toronto and Vaughn and then from there, um I've I've actually been with two agencies before. Currently one in Vaughn that I'm with now, TN Model and Talent. Right. I've had great success with them and then I just started modeling, uh working with different photographers, you know, getting some experience and I just I loved it and I still love it now and I'm continuing with it. So, yeah, it's super exciting. <laughs> Oh great. I mean it's great to know that you're actually following your passion so far and you're working so hard towards it and at such a young age at 20. I mean there are people who at this age they don't even know what they what are they supposed to do. But you're actually yeah. trying your best and establishing something for yourself and that's great. And taking this forward so as we all know that hardships are meant to be learned from and of course they're a part of life we cannot just ignore them. And you clearly must have had your hard share of hardships too along with your journey. And tribulations of course so what is it that kept you going and you never gave up on what you're actually doing honestly i feel like i've always had like different like dreams and goals that i've wanted to achieve throughout you know my life and i think those are what drives me to keep going you know even if you know you fail at something you just keep going because you're like this is what i'm working for this is why i'm doing this you have to keep like mentally telling yourself like the things that like keep you going and like the things that you want to achieve in life and i think those are really what help you to keep going every day and telling yourself this is why i'm doing it i have these goals in mind and then when you achieve those it's like oh with that so i it was totally worth that in the end you know what i mean so yeah. exactly so what we can yeah. see is that you're actually giving a dose of motivation to our audience right there who's watching you right now and they're definitely getting motivated and of course they will be waking up next morning working on their aims and goals <laughs> no doubt okay so uh, is there anything or something along your journey as a model which you are most proud of like whenever you recall it you think that yes i'm proud of what i did here in this situation as a model so if there's anything what would that be and why Um so I've landed actually a couple of front cover magazine covers from a couple of different shoots that I've done and one of them was a pretty big cover it was for Mob Journal um I was on the front cover the back cover and then on the inside and I also had an interview and that was like just amazing cuz it's such a big company um and I guess just seeing yourself like on a cover of a magazine is like so surreal you're like oh my god like I did that like it's just you know it's that feeling of like all the hard work you did and all the time you put into something like you love doing like the process on how to get there but at the same time when you actually see the end product and see yourself on there you're like I didn't actually think this was going to happen but it did and it's because like if you work hard you can achieve the dreams that you want to achieve 
that was amazing to you and definitely you should be proud of yourself just like i am <laughs> however taking it forward so you are an established model now you are published in several cover magazine magazines and all of that so what is it that you love about your job at this point of time i mean there must be several factors that you consider then you must have considered before becoming a model so what is it that you love the most about your job of being a model and how do you look up to it I think for me what I love the most is I think that like feeling of like being in front of a camera like I don't know to me like I'm more I'd say of an introvert than an extrovert but in like a sense of modeling I love being the center of attention almost like I love being able to get my hair done and my makeup done you know and try on different outfits and I think just like having a photographer that's like so dedicated to like doing work for you and wanting to make you look really good and feel your best at the same time is like super important so that feeling of like getting your photo done by someone and just seeing the end products of the photos after it's like it's just like amazing and I've worked with couple amazing photographers so far so i really enjoy having different connections with different people and meeting different people as well that's really something that is always really nice when i model at any point in time okay i would like to compliment you your a bit so i recently went to your profile on instagram and what i saw what the kind of photographs and the photo shoots that you do that is it they are so like there are so many varieties and you actually experiment with looks and maybe the theme that you work on and this is what will actually take you like give you so much of exposure to the world out there and i mean that's good i'm proud of you for the same okay so i would like to ask you this one small question here you are very young right now and i mean you are doing great in your field but i would like to know that what were your parents response when you told them that you actually want to pursue a career in modeling so how did they support you and what was their reaction out of it Yeah, honestly, I've always really had support like with anything that I've ever done from my parents, which is like fantastic. Um yeah, they were super sort of supportive about it. Um I mean, I feel like too like people are always going to like love your work, not love your work. And you know what? I still do things regardless if someone likes it or not. You know what? Like it's your life and you want to do things that make you happy, but again, having support from other people in your life is really important as well, but I exactly. think if you believe in yourself at the end of the day and you think you can do it then I think that you can do anything that you set your mind to. Great, great. All right. So moving to the next segment Olivia, do you remember any moment which you describe as your happiest? Be it any feel or anything or any moment out of anywhere like you feel like you were the most happiest in that moment and what it would it be and why? So I personally think so I started actually producing music and putting it out online for people to hear this year. So I think when the music was on like iTunes and like Spotify and stuff and I heard it online for the first time and I was like, "Oh my god, that's me. It's finally out. This is like so freaking cool." That was probably like one of the big highlights for me for sure. It's just like it's again, it's it's a surreal feeling again and it's like all the work I've done and hearing it actually like on an actual platform like cuz that was always a goal of mine that I wanted to do. I think that was like a big day when it was like, oh yeah, it says my name and it's my song and you know I'm on there. It was like super cool. So, that was definitely a, a big moment, a big happy moment for me in my life for sure. It's amazing. That's amazing. Okay. So, we all know that the pandemic hit us really bad. not a nation but actually the entire globe out there and we all know that it was really a very bad phase for the for the entire world and economy and all of that but we also know that there was this one thing that the pandemic gave us that was improvement of ourselves so what is the best thing that's happened to you in the pandemic how did you actually work on yourself and got the better version of yourself out i feel like yeah when the pandemic started like I remember just like getting kicked out of my university and having to go home and like I actually got a job and I sat down and I was like okay like this is the year when like th- you have so much time you need to like write out the things that you've wanted to achieve over the past years that you've said oh yeah I'm going to do that it's like things that I've like put on the back burner because oh I didn't have enough money or the time or now I was like this is the year where I am going to achieve some of those things and like I said I've been doing more modeling. I got into the studio for the very first time and I wrote a single and then I wrote an album and it's just like doing things that like I wanted to do for so long and I finally did them 
it's like super satisfying. So although COVID has really, you know, impacted the world, it like, it allowed me to be able to do things and to better myself and to kind of look more at my life and say, you know, am I happy? Like, do I want this? You know, it was really just a self-reflection time. And I think it was really like a really good year to like figure out like what I really wanted, improve on myself and do a lot of things that like I totally wanted to do for like so long. That's amazing. I mean, it can be seen that you've actually worked on yourself and actually just improved yourself at so many things. Okay, so moving forward, every person has their every person has their own weakness and own and own, their own strength. We see. So, talking about you, what are some of your weaknesses and what do you do to overcome them? And at the same point, my second question is, what are your strengths? Like, whenever you're in a particular problem or something like that, what do you think that what is your strength and how do you use that in a trouble situation? Yeah. So to start, I'll just talk about kind of. Um, my weaknesses. Um, I feel like when the pandemic actually started, I felt like I didn't have like any motivation to do anything, you know, like I wasn't driven to like want to even get up or like do things. So that really affected me because, you know, I didn't want to do a lot of things and I didn't have the desire to do things. And I felt like I was falling behind. And eventually one of my actual strengths is actually working hard though. So as it kind of happened and, you know, the pandemic kept going along, I was like, okay, you can't keep you know, being in this funk, you know, you have to get up and you have to persevere. And I always have worked hard for anything that I've really wanted. And I feel like when you work hard and you put the effort into something, it means more to you because you've really just put all your energy and time into it. And you're like, okay, this is what I did leading up to this. And then you see the final product and you're like, okay, that's because I worked hard and I know I worked hard. And that's like a really satisfying feeling to have that's amazing to you i mean definitely it is so, and I'm, I'm i'm really happy that you're aware of your weaknesses and your strengths this is a very nice quality i must say okay so moving forward i saw i have heard that you are a musician too and at the same time you are an influencer and, and of course a published model so uh, i want to know about your other two interests like what actually got you into this field of music and what interested you into it and at the same time talking about you being an influencer so we'll come back to later first let's talk about your musical journey yeah for sure so i've music has always been a part of my life ever since i was little i've loved music i've loved listening to music i've loved playing instruments i've loved singing so really it's always been a part of my life i would say music is a part of me if i didn't have music and i couldn't sing i probably wouldn't be who i am today so it's just always been something that i love to do and like i said i got more into music as i felt like i was getting older and i really wanted to produce music and i really wanted to work with different artists and you know expand my knowledge expand my voice and do different things so yeah music is just a, a really big part of me and i feel like without it i wouldn't be the person i am it really just exemplifies like my personality and like who i am on the inside that's great that's good and i hope you do well in all the fields that are working on Okay, so moving forward, at this point of time, I see that you are multi-talented. You can see so you can do so many tasks at a single time. So what what are you looking up to professionally? What professional goal do you have for yourself at this point of time? I feel like it's so hard because it's like I have again so many interests, but like for me, I guess like the dream job or something that like I've always wanted to work towards is either like hopefully one day either being a professional model or a professional singer or something in the music field because for me like I want to have a job and be in a career that I love and something that I'm passionate about you know I feel like a lot of the time people are always in jobs that like they're unhappy with and they only do it for certain reasons or money but it's like for me it's it is about you know being able to earn those things but at the same time I want to do something that I love and every day I go I love this and this isn't a job for me this is something that I love and I can see myself doing for like my lifetime right so that's always the goal at the end yeah. of the day. and talking about you being an influencer so if I asked you what is the importance of social media in today's generation as we all know that there are so many people using the internet every day and we see that it is a tool of our connection for a connection of people from different parts of the world to each other so how do you see like how do you look up to the social media and what do you think are its benefits like how is it helpful for you yeah um, so even from back a couple of years ago, 
my social media, Instagram is like my main uh, use of social media platform. And my followers have really grown over the last couple of years. It's really allowed me to communicate with different people, you know, get different experiences and jobs. So it's been probably one of my main source of tools. And again, with influencing, I started that actually just this year, you know, reaching out to different brands and, you know, wanting to try different products. And I love at the end of the day, helping people find a product or something that's going to work for them. So I love like being able to like receive things and test them out, you know, give my honest review because at the end of the day, if I find something that works really well for me, I want to help other people in their journey and help them find something that's going to work for them. So definitely social media has really allowed me to branch myself out, reach out to different people, make some connections. And yeah, overall, it's just a really great tool to be able to talk to people, you know, worldwide too. It's a great way to meet new people, even if it's just online, like meeting you yourself, but (laughs) Yeah, social media is definitely a big, really important thing for me in my life. I don't know where I'd be without it, honestly. Of course, it's a boom to us. Okay, and talking forward, we are, uh, so I know that you are doing your bachelor's in business and media studies. So what are your future educational plans? And uh, tell me something more about your educational background. Yeah, so um, like I said, I'm doing um, business and media studies. Funny enough, when I actually got accepted into Trent, it was actually accepted for just a bachelor of business degree, which was like business administration at that point. But I kind of went through first year and I was like, okay, I'm liking this, but I'm not like loving this. So by year two, I was looking at kind of like different options. And then I actually changed my degree slightly to a bachelor of arts degree. That was considered, so I did business, and then I added on the media studies. So it was considered, and it still is considered a double major. So when I got into that, I loved it. Media studies is so broad. Like there's so many different things you can go into. There's design, there's computers, you know, there's programming. There's so many different things with media that I was like, this is really awesome to be able to do business. You know, there's different things I love about it, but media I'm passionate about, you know, it's it's creative and you get to really express yourself. So I feel like when I um, added on that to my major, it really helped me to actually really enjoy the studies that I was doing. Okay. So hopefully, eventually i'm hoping to get a job that i love i don't necessarily have a job that i'm like set on right now but i think as i keep going through my education i'll find something that like i really want to do okay so taking this forward i want to know that who is your inspiration and why like all of us for us to follow our dreams and our aims in life we see that we all have one person that we look up to for maybe for any guidance or any motivation so talking about you who is your inspiration and why do you look up to them for i feel like there's like I feel like just like a lot of like my family or like kind of like certain people in life, like my friends, I feel like there's different qualities about a bunch of people in my life that really have helped me and motivated me to be the person I am today. Like there's my dad, he's super hardworking. So like, I've really used that to my extent, you know, with my mom, she is very passionate about what she does and she really cares deeply about people. So again, I think I've always used different characteristics from different people that have really helped me to become the person I am today. That's amazing. Okay, so I would like to know about your hobbies and interests out of your profession. And as you told me before that you also love playing tennis. So what is it that actually got you interested into this sport? And other than that, what is it that you do for maybe for your hobby? Yeah, so I actually got into tennis because my dad used to play pretty competitively when he was more around my age. Um, So he got me into it. I started playing when I was around eight years old, I'd say, and I got more into it in high school. I was on the school tennis team. You know, I was playing in tournaments and I was getting professional lessons. I really loved the sport. I still love it now. Unfortunately, I don't play as much as I used to, but Tennis is such a mental and physical game, you know, it's like telling yourself when you're playing, if you're winning, okay, what am I doing right? Uh, What do I need to do for this next point? Physically, it's like, okay, I'm getting tired. You need to keep motivating yourself to keep, you know, keeping yourself in the game. It's so interesting and it's so fun. And I just get this like thrill when I play. It's like, it's amazing. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Definitely it is. I mean, of course, everyone should actually follow or play one sport to actually keep them healthy at this point of time where health is the main priority. 
because we are facing a pandemic of course <laughs> okay so i would like to ask you my final question for this interview if there was anything that you could change about your journey so far what would it be and why like is there anything that you like okay if this would have been changed slightly then you know things would have been better than where they are at today so what would your answer be for the same Honestly, I feel like everything that has happened has led me to this point today. So I don't think I would change anything, you know. And again, I always say like the things that like maybe didn't work out or something that kind of failed, those things made me stronger and they made me be able to learn different things about myself and learn different lessons. So I think, you know, the failures are things that really actually better me as a person. So I don't take them as a negative. I kind of take them in more of a positive because it's like I learn more and I'm able to kind of better myself for it. So okay. Of course, I mean your journey it sounds to be amazing and if, of course it's the it's great to see even if you don't change anything. Okay, so that's all for today and let me tell you that it was a pleasure talking to you. I mean knowing you knowing about your journey so far, it was also interesting to know about you and I hope that you enjoyed this time with us now. I did. Thank you. It was so nice to meet you today. Yeah, it was for me too. Okay so for everyone else I'll be back next week with another episode of Model Insights with me your host Sujata and until then stay safe and stay healthy